guys, this is Grace and welcome to another video from me. This is going to be my first process video for 2018 and also my first video uh, creating something with my homemade kit for January and February. So um, this one was based off of a sketch that I found at the Facebook group for Scrapbook Generations and I really like how despite the kind of overall blocky scene there's a lot of places where you can still um, make it interesting so i wanted to um, start off with a black card base and because i know that i will be i won't be showing the inside of that i gutted the um, center of the black cardstock and then i have this um, other paper that i wanted to kind of mat uh, as well and I'm doing the same thing just a smaller black cardstock there and then because I know that that part the kind of um, other yellow paper is going to cover the center of the star paper I'm gonna gut this as well it's not that I don't have a lot of paper because I do <laughs> um, but I just I, I know that I wanted to maximize the products in this kit as much as I can and so that's why I'm getting that um, and then this paper is from pink paisley and it's just the the design on the paper is actually just a bunch of labels but I wanted to um, just cut a strip of it and I wanted the labels to be emphasized so um, I cut the sides of that to make sure that all of the shapes of the labels are um, are prominent on that piece and if you ever wonder what I had put in this particular homemade kit, make sure that you check out the um, description below because it will have a direct link for the kit. Now on the kit I had, um, I chose some frames and so I'm using a couple of them here. I also have some 2x2 two two squares of papers. I believe it's from Simple Stories and um, I'm putting that behind those frames. I also have pre-printed my journaling and um, I just cut that in a block. Uh, style and then that's going to go on the bottom of my page now the um, the design or the sketch called for some banners on the top right and so that's what I'm doing here with my black cardstock and um, as far as the journaling if you are ever wondering why how I do my journaling um, I mostly print them now uh, I do them on the computer and then print a bunch of them out. Uh, if you're ever interested in that, make sure that you check out my journaling mini series here on YouTube because um, the extra video that I have explains how I do it and why for me that's the most efficient way for me to get my scrapbooking on right now. Um, I also cut a little uh, label from uh, kind of a flags label paper from Ellie Studio. Now this paper that I'm cutting, it's a journaling block and um, it has the brackets and I really like the brackets and also the word good times but I don't need the journaling lines because I already have my journaling so I'm just going to cut that up. This is from a very old um, kind of journaling block, the uh, a journaling book that has just a bunch of um, lined papers and I don't really need the lined papers so I'm just going to gut that out and I'm at the point now in my scrapbooking that I'm okay with not using uh, products as how it is intended so because the labels are on the right and it's uh, there's nothing in there it's pretty plain so I decided to kind of dress it up I grabbed a bunch of my word stamps and phrase stamps and that's what I'm going to use to decorate the um, the labels and I didn't want that to kind of st I didn't want that to stand out too much and so I'm going to ink that with some gray ink from Colorbox and so these stamps, um, they're from different companies. There's some Gossamer Blue, there's some LE Studios, and then there's also one from W Plus 9. And I, f I feel like if I wanted to incorporate some stamping in my scrapbooking, my go-to is always words or phrase stamps. So I'm just inking that up. I'm going to test it out on a paper outside of this frame, um, the frame that you're seeing in the vid, I mean, outside of the video, and then I'm going to just 
stamp it. So like I said, it's a very subtle design and that's exactly how I want it. I didn't want that to stand out because I didn't want it to kind of um, uh, clash against the existing design that I already have. I just wanted a subtle design there. And um, I got a Lawn Fawn chamois um, for Christmas and so that's what I'm using here and I really like it. It's kind of dirty because I haven't um, put it in the wash but um, I really enjoy it. And um, what I love about it is it's reusable so you can um, just wet it over and over and it saves me a little bit of money because then I don't have to buy wipes for cleaning my stamps so I like that one and so now that sorry now that um the stamping is done I've adhered everything else and now I'm working on my title and I have that sticker sheet what's left of it anyways um I think that's a Maggie Holmes one I can't remember but it had the word shine and so I'm going to use that as part of my title and then these are small letter stickers from a beautiful mess that uh, was being sold by Studio Calico and I got that at a kind of a sale late last year so I'm just using that up and a little bit about the photo so this cute little image is of my uh, youngest son and um, we were getting ready to go do our Saturday errands and uh, I think that with the week before that or during the week we went to the dentist office and in his dentist office they have like this bucket full of things that they can you know just like rewards and he picked this really fun um, sunglasses and so he decided that that's what he will wear um to get ready for our sun saturday errands and so i thought that was really cute i wanted to use up this sticker sheet from um, american crafts and it had love laugh more which i thought was appropriate for this particular page so that's my um page thank you for watching i'll catch you guys later bye